Senna's Q spell has this very useful property of being both an ability and a basic attack at the same time. This is obviously extremely strong when you combine that with a Sheen item, because Senna's Q by itself would both activate and apply Sheen's passive bonus damage all at once. So I'm thinking to myself, is there a way I can break this interaction as much as possible and create a completely new way of playing Senna? I really want to do exactly that, but there is one problem that I have to overcome. You know, Sheen does not simply double your auto attack damage when it triggers. That would be too good to be true. Instead, it just doubles your basic attack damage, ignoring all of your bonus attack damage. And here is the issue we need to deal with. Senna has an attack damage growth of exactly zero, so her base attack damage will stay at a mere 50 for the entire game. She gets bonus AD with her passive soul stacking, but yeah, bonus AD is not treated like base AD and doesn't increase Sheen's value at all. However, the upgraded Sheen items behave in different ways. Well, at least most of them. First of all, Trinity Force behaves exactly the same way as Sheen and only scales off of base AD, which makes it useless for Senna. Divine Sundara was a core item on Senna for a very long time, since most of its damage came from a percentage of the enemy's HP, but Riot saw how broken it was on Senna and nerfed it for her. Nowadays, it also mainly works off of your base AD and scales very little with the enemy's health, so it's useless. This leaves us with Lich Bane and Essence Reaver. Lich Bane scales with your ability power, so the damage gets stronger when you build mage items, but Senna typically wants to build attack damage instead. Actually, now that I think about it, Senna's ability scalings could indeed work with a full AP build perfectly utilizing Lich Bane, which sounds very interesting. Let me know if you want me to explore this concept in a future video, but for this one I want to bring Essence Reaver into focus. Essence Reaver has very promising qualities for Senna. It is of course a Sheen item utilizing the crazy Q interaction, but it also scales off a 40% bonus attack damage. And Senna pretty much infinitely stacks bonus attack damage by collecting souls with her passive throughout the game, so there is an obvious synergy there. But there is more. Essence Reaver also restores mana when it procs, allowing you to sustain your mana despite spamming your expensive spells. This means we can drop the more conventional options like the Rune Presence of Mind or the item Mana Mune, and we won't even miss them. But you see, we don't want to rush Essence Reaver, because at the start of the game we won't have much bonus AD yet, making the item quite weak. As a second item it should be fine though, and I think it's best to get our mythic item first. And I found just the perfect fit for our strategy here. Duskblade. Duskblade gives us tons of ability haste, allowing us to spam even more Qs in the mid game, taking even bigger advantage of the Essence Reaver interaction. Also, Duskblade's passive damage scales with bonus AD too, and therefore, just like Essence Reaver, gets stronger the more souls we collect. For our last item, I think Black Cleaver might be quite good, giving us the highest amount of ability haste possible, while also dealing with another problem, Senna's squishiness. With offensive items, we will be extremely frail, so we will easily get one shot and die. But we need longer fights with this build to get multiple Qs off for maximum Essence Reaver value. However, I think we can solve this problem with our rune page, since we can opt out of the standard precision runes thanks to Essence Reaver. This means we can take this Grasp rune page instead. Senna works very well with Grasp of the Undying, making her tanky while also providing lots of value in lane. Collecting souls from the ground actually puts Senna in combat, which means it is very easy to activate this keystone and then apply it with your massive range. We also get access to overgrowth and bone plating this way, which means the enemy should not be able to just one-shot us at will. Now there is one last problem we need to solve, which is our early game mana. Remember, Essence Reaver will only be our second item, so we need something for the lane phase. And, well, Biscuit Delivery should do the trick, I think, allowing us to quickly regenerate should we go oom in lane. This in combination with our support item is probably enough to keep us covered until we finally get Essence Reaver. So yeah, that's the theory at least, but let's now jump into a game and see how the build actually does. We should be there for Swain to get all this farm. Yep, we are. What a start though. Very aggressive. Let's try and relax a little. Uh, 
Oh, Swain's getting punished so hard. It's gonna be a tough lane. Let's actually ward this bush and back off. They have level 2. Yeah, we're at a huge disadvantage if you fight now. Not only because of the health, but mainly because of, you know, being one ability down, essentially. They got to spend a skill point to everything. Okay, that failed. I cancelled no auto, too. Ah, okay, okay. Well, it's stressful to play when you're that pressured already. <laughs> You can imagine. Get a grasp ready. If they're basing, they're making a huge mistake, by the way. They don't have the time to base. Okay, they're not basing. Caitlyn's right there. Let's keep our grasp ready. We don't want to get one shot by Zed later on, so we want as much health as possible. Hmm, maybe Thresh actually based. That's nasty, my lord. Oof. Why did he leave her alone? It's, uh... Okay. Save that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and that was a good Elise gank, so <laughs> now we know why Thresh left. He set that up perfectly, baiting us to push forward. He might flash on me if I'm not careful. I'm full HP. I'm, I don't think I need to be too, too afraid. But still, you don't want to take numbers disadvantage fights. Well, I'll take the soul. Should probably pop a biscuit for more mana. Because right now I don't have my Essence Fever, obviously. The mana regeneration you get from your support item is quite nice, but... Only once you have Essence Fever, so only relatively late into the game will we be able to spam. At least once our biscuits are depleted. What I also really like about this build is that we get so much cooldown reduction. We'll just be able to spam our abilities later on with infinite mana, essentially. And Senna's abilities are so, so powerful. Kind of missing our back timing here. That did not land, apparently. We might be setting up that stupid gank again. Or not. But you know, better safe than sorry. Hmm. I failed this so hard. But you know what? Doesn't matter. It works. <sighs> okay, that was, that was actually fire. Need to base, I'm out of mana completely. No, I don't have biscuits anymore. But yeah, biscuits definitely saving me in that early fights. Both with the health and with um, the mana for extra spells. But yeah, we're actually getting a good base here with the Serrated Duck plus a Longsword. It's so much damage. Also the healing scales with Lethality, as you know. So I definitely don't want to get Essence Reaver first, because not only is it a crit item, which, you know, is always inferior to a Lethality item early game. 
but it still works off of 100% base AD and 40% bonus AD, so it's better when we have a little bit of bonus AD behind it. And yeah, we also want more damage. Early darks go a long way. Let's see. Awkward. They're all getting away. I don't have much movement speed yet, of course. Once we have Dust Blade plus um, upgraded boots, wild. But um, right now, we just have to be very strategic about the positioning. And as you see, it is possible to just run away from Senna without boots. Try to hit that, but it's a difficult angle. Should probably not waste as much mana. Do more with autos instead. Okay, that's a problem. Right, right, the flash hits. But yeah, I managed my mana quite effectively there. I'm happy with that. Caitlyn ult's on cooldown, so I don't need to worry about this. Okay, I tried to hit that, but I better back off here. I'm not of much use with that little mana. Ooh, good fight nonetheless. Yeah, we're getting more and more stacks for our stuff. It's nice. Alright, get our mana back. And again, it's kind of difficult to play, kind of difficult to manage your mana before you get Essence Reaver. You could play this with, you know, Presence of Mind and everything, but I really like the magical footwear. And Presence of Mind just becomes obsolete once you get this bad boy here, the Essence Reaver. Ew. Not good. Okay. Get more grasp. <laughs> they are so greedy. Unreal. Still relatively high mana for me. Also with the transformed support item you get more mana regeneration which certainly helps. Yeah, let's be careful. Swain's super low. I don't want to waste mana healing him, it's not worth. Okay, let me stick around. I can last hit the melee minions and collect souls from the casters, which I won't last hit because they're not worth enough gold. Okay, no reason to ult there. I was contemplating, but after having a look, it's clear it's not worth. Mm. 
Okay. So far, so good. Let's get grasp ready. Actually, very well played. Wow. Yo, what a stomp. <laughs> what a stomp in the bot lane. As long as we stay in combat, we can even get additional stacks for our support item. Even though we're already above 1000. But it only transforms out of combat, so... Yeah, let's stay in combat for a while. With souls, it's also very easy to just stay in combat. This is crazy. <laughs> I made an extra 200 gold with my support item. Absolutely wild. Oof. That game. Yeah, they're getting crushed here. That's... Uh, almost 90 health off of... more than 80 health off of this. And... Yeah, 100 health off of this. Yeah, we're, getting, we're getting a little bit tanky, especially with bone plating. But yeah, we have... we also have cleaver and wardstone for the late game, so we will have quite a bit of health. But yeah, I don't like Senna when she's that super squishy. You know? Not sure why I pressed E there. <laughs> I was very much brain dead. Pick up the soul late to keep grasp ready as long as possible. Got him. And we're still quite tanky. Still max HP. Yeah, it's not over chase. Just collect the souls. And I just want to get to my Essence Reaver. I don't quite have it yet, so might as well stay. But yeah, that's Swain Senna combo. The chain CC. It's wild. They're not even squishy, that's the best part. You can just play this with Grasp, and you're fine. But now we're running Oom, we need our Essence Reaver. We've been staying for much too long. Just, uh, we could take the tower, but it's, it's getting greedier and greedier. We're not... We're not as strong as we could be. Now, though... They're actually, I think... 
I like the health component. I have so much damage at this point. Yo, we have 200 bonus AD. This hits for 100 physical damage, this hits for 131. Yeah, we are slapping now, and we can't run Oom anymore. It restores 52 mana on hit. Which is not enough to pay for a Q, of course, but between Essence Reaver and um, our support item, it's highly unlikely. Let me run Oom again. Let's not overchase, though. Yeah, the more bonus AD we get, the more mana this restores, too. Again, if no one takes this farm, I just do it. Except for these. <laughs> Much rather have the souls. Yeah, she's dead. I don't need to ult that. Hmm. There we go. Would have landed too. Okay. That's not overcommit. Not worth. They know where we are. Yeah, as you see, we're pretty much almost... almost always full mana. And unlike with Tia, we're not going through that awkward power tr or yeah, Tia power trough. I'm securing Drake. It's worth more. All right, let's chase. Get the shield for the dive. This hits for so much damage. Just a random Q. I'd love to get these souls, but I don't want to take too much tower damage. Yeah, we could base. We could base. Oh god, what stunned me? He's there. Didn't connect. Yeah, we're dealing a lot of damage. Well, that's just safe for this tower. Or for some damage on the tower, I should rather say. 2.7k for... A 
All right. This Senna going nuts. <laughs> And again, you do a lot of damage, plus you're not even squishy. It's absolutely wild. I'd love to base for my item though. I don't also I mean I want to base, but I also don't want to base when we can <laughs> that damage. The poke, for real. Applies Dust Blade, applies Essence Fever, everything. It's just crazy. Yeah, we should definitely base now. I'm, I'm so, so fed. Yeah, all the bonus health will get even more. Oh, come on, guys. It's, it seems like I can't base ever. That's never gonna work. Again, I'm too tanky. But yeah, it, I mean, it, it doesn't look like much, but getting 60 mana back whenever you cast a spell... It's enough. It's It doesn't pay for itself, it doesn't pay for all the mana costs, but you have a mana pool, you have regeneration, it's enough. It certainly works. I haven't based for so long, I still didn't run Oom. Not even close. All right. So now at almost 100 ability haste. This deals, yeah. I mean, we do like 300 bonus damage off of one auto, or off of one Q, just with our two items, which convert our bonus attack damage. But this Senna builds low key, low key cracked. Hmm, didn't know you couldn't target the spiderlings with Q. Today I learned. What we should do is push top lane, by the way. Blind OT in the hopes of hitting someone or something or assisting someone. I mean, it kind of worked, didn't it? Absolutely crazy. Yeah, the S plus, no surprise. This is probably the craziest Senna build I have ever crafted. But um, I mean, yeah, you you just saw what it was, or what it is capable of. Um, yeah, I'd be quite happy if you experiment with this and tell me about how it goes for you. But if you want to see me on my main champion, Misfortune, then click the link on your screen right there.
A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.